Yes, 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 who got brands talking? Brandlive.co.za Yeah, nice, man. Nice, nice. Yeah, this is the Gigs Connect show um, where we connect you to opportunities, to innovators, to users of your applications, to innovation structures and opportunities, to fellow gigs out there. And we always have a jam packed um, lineup for you. Michel, have you been turning up anywhere in the past few days? Uh, Easter holidays, uh, took it easy. I decided to stay away from almost everything. Uh, did a little bit of, uh, you know, rowing a little bit, you know, here and there. Uh, it was quite, quite nice, quite nice. Uh, but yeah, I took it in easy, like I needed the break. Uh, and you, T? Yeah, man. Um, I was, well, I was busy, as usual. Um, had sure, a Mr. Lot of busy work. guy. Yeah, uh, it was hectic, eh? but then I went to... to to treat that. In, in fact, let's play a little game. Going to, they invited you that side. Uh, uh, in America. Uh, uh, they said you must come. Yes, to yes, yes, yes. Hey, um, nine, the most you know what? Let's play a little game. Um, This is a word game. Um, If if, if, if I say a name, you, you, you'll you say the first thing that, that comes to your mind. Okay. Um, Boiti. Melo. Um, Sakile. Kamwande. Um, Tsikimazwai. Well, the first thing I thought of is her swearing at everybody or making comments about everybody. Oh, trouble, right? Trouble, trouble right? So I so, saw uh, I'm thinking as why trending last week, but this time it was trending for the right reasons. Uh, get which, this. Which, which, are, which are the other reasons? Um, thinking as why graduated with a distinction on her master's. Nice. Congrats, congrats. Yes, man. So it, 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 it goes to show that whatever she says, sort of like, she now she it up. Yeah, yeah. She got a big ego. How? You know this Got a big ego. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live on Earth, remember? I live on welcome, Earth. Welcome back, hey? Yeah, I mean, man. Welcome to Earth. Uh, we welcome you here. Yeah. Uh, we as species are all welcome on Earth. Yes, man. But, but, but you know, this thinking uh, is, is not... For some of us. You, you know, last week we tried to, to make... To break through in the music industry. Um, we tried to, to sing a quite a song. You remember that? Yeah, uh, which went horribly. Uh, no, well. no, it went yes, it, it went horribly well. Uh, but you know, in the music industry, especially hip hop artists, everybody have haters. Yeah. Everybody have haters. What's the deal? Do you have haters, T? Um, apparently we do. No, no. So, so do you have haters? Yes, we do. No, do you have haters? Yes. So, so f- for last week's song, um, we, we have haters already, like the girl next door. Mm. She's hating on, on our song. Do, do you know what she, she said about the song? Mm-mm. That song is so weak, last of last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. She's, it's a week, last of last week. Yes, mm. yes. Short uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, like we said, we, we've got a couple of um, um things coming up on the show, and and just to 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 to, to dilute what happened here on, on the show last week, we decided to 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 invite someone cool, um, someone who can actually sing. Yeah, um, I mean, today's guest is, is super awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's someone we met uh, some time back at uh, MLab, uh, Ayanda Gia. Mm, the I goddess. Mean, I mean, the her, talented. Uh, her voice. The creative. When she sings, mm. uh, you know, you'd actually think she's not local. So My those goodness. who listen to the show later on, she's going to drop a song and uh, sing something for us. Uh, you guys might be mistaken that we're not in South Africa, we're in another country. Uh, because for me, Ayanda is international. Yes. Um, um, yeah. She, she she's also a graphics designer, which is also quite cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she'll be telling us um how the her graphics design journey has helped shape up her music career as well. That's gonna be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to that. All right, check WCE. I mean, um, yes. Now we see you. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we have, we have, we have, we we know, so we know, we see you, T. Yes. Um. <laughs> so we, we've decided to to introduce a, a a new show, right? We have reshuffled the the program a little bit. Yeah. No, it's reshuffled. April. You know how it goes in radio. So we did a little bit of reshuffling. Unfortunately, T is still here. Uh, but we're working on that. <laughs> uh, but for the time being, tell us a little bit about the reshuffles. Yes, so we have a segment called The Girl Next Door Updates. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, get this. 
uh, um, two days ago, I was busy minding my own business as usual. Then the girl next door comes to me and say that, Tiani, I forgot my Facebook password. Can mm. you hack into my account and retrieve my password? Like, what the heck? What the freaking hell? Uh, um, so, so it turns out that you did not even click the, 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 the forgot uh, uh, password button. Those buttons are there for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. Well, a lot of people are not so aware of that. Uh, they, they, they always say, ah, oh, you know, but I forgot my password. I forgot my password. Where else you can just literally do that? Forgot password. Yes. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it also goes in hand with also how to use Google as well. Some people don't know how to use Google. <laughs> I, I, I came across this picture of um, how girls Google versus how boys Google. Okay. Uh, for, for an example, if your 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 bios are missing on your computer, mm. uh, um, a girl will type in. I was trying to type an assignment uh, uh, on my laptop. I I, I I tried to to open it. it. It's not switching on. What what what? What, what can I do? Can you, you help? Uh, versus uh, um, what the guy w- would say, missing bios. Then mm. get the right information. So uh, um, that goes in hand, obviously, with um, being able to do things right. Th- there's there's something called an SEO. SEO is there for a reason. On what is on, SEO on, on, on the web? Tell uh, us tell, tell us a little bit about what I was SEO. coming to that chief. I was coming oh, to that chief. Okay. We so see. so SEO stands for search engine optimization. Mm. This is an art of um, c- companies um, being discoverable. You know that each and every company individuals as well. Sorry? Individuals as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 like I always say every week here on the show that um, we, we, we are building digital houses every day. We are building digital houses and we're living a digital uh, um, legacy. You, you are online. You have an online presence. You need to be discoverable. So search engine optimization um, is a way for you to, 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 to be able to, to, to be discoverable. If people search, for example, um, uh, Mission Goveni. Or the famous guy, Tiani Ngonyama. Yeah, so, so, so um, the, the point is, what, what do they find first? Uh, um, in fact, th- that's how Google started making money in th- the 90s, actually. Mm. Uh, um, so, so, so Google um, realized that if people search cars, uh, um, what should be the first thing that, uh, that comes when people search, search a car? And then Google said, L- let's make the people who, who want to be discoverable first um, pay more. So mm. if people could search cars, uh, for an example, Toyota would come first because um, Toyota are more discoverable. But uh, uh, um, at this day and age, Google is going forward w- with making sure that each and every website, firstly, um, has um, a fast lo- lo- loading speed. If you, your website is slow to load, um, you, you, your, your website won't appear um, on top on Google. Yeah. Yeah. And also, if your your your... your your, 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 your website does not follow certain standards. For, for an example, um, your website needs need, need to be mobile friendly. So uh, I was telling Lungile actually yesterday that um, uh, um, SEO is door. at. No, 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 no Lungile is, is, is she, she's part of our team in the office. Uh, um, she sits at the back next to, to, to Sakile. Anyway, at the back next to Sakile. Yeah. Um, um, so, so, so SEO is art, obviously. If you're a programmer, if you're doing web development, th- there are certain things that, 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 that you need to, to be able to adhere to to make sure that your website is discoverable on Google. Yeah. Um, f- for, for an example, um, if, if the, 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 the way you, you, you structure your CSS on, on, a, uh, uh, um, on your w- w- website um, matters. You, you, you have the different kind of, um, of referencing... CS obviously there's something called inline styling. Try to avoid inline styling as much as possible, and th- that also goes in hand also because we also have web robots. Do you know of web re- robots? Are you about to tell us? So so w- 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 web robots are, are these little engines that are working behind the the, the web, behind the, the www. You know, m- making sure that um, obviously they are gathering a lot of data. Um, so someone w- w- was asking me, how is, h- how are Google Analytics able to, to to know that these are my interests? You know, so so, so those things are there, and it's covering um, data all the time. 
uh, every website you, you get to, um, the website that you, you visit frequently, those are things that, that, that are considered. And then obviously they're able to, to, to see um, your different interests and um, the, the, the type of things you like buying, for example. Um, so, so there's a lot of data on the internet. But then SEO is the major thing that, that, that you need, you need to, to, to adhere to. And um, obviously, we can't uh, um, shy away from the the, the, the artificial artificial intelligent bots. So l let's talk about uh, a bit of SEO, right? Yeah. Um, instead of just building a website as a business, what can SEO really help me with? Uh, does it does it put me out there? Does it help with when people yes, are searching yes, yes, me? Yes. I mean, why would I want to consider this SEO thing? Okay. So so SEO have three major things. Um, firstly, the, the um, they have an author of who, who owned, owns this website. Mm. For, so for developers out there, make sure that when you're developing a website, you specify the, 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 the metadata within the SEO. You'll see it on top, uh, inside the header. Um, so, so you specify the, the, the header through the meta. Firstly, meta. Uh, um, do you understand the thing about meta metadata, for yeah, example? Yeah. Yeah, so so data about data and studying its relationships as well. So th 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 those things are, are some of the things that help you be discoverable. And then you need to also specify keywords on on your on, on your website. For example, um, if, if you are selling Spartlo and you want to be online and you are in Soshangube, for example. Mm. Um, you need to, to be aware that people will always try to to to, to search for things. Uh, food in Soshangube. If you have list listed within your SEO as a keyword um, that my, my website must be discoverable under Spartle, under Soshangube food, under the name Soshangube, for example, mm. or um, Kokoning, or, or, or what, what, what. So, so, so th 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 those are some of the things that you need to be um, uh, uh, um, aware of. Obviously, the description of um, of your website, if someone has searched maybe gay culture, what is the description that comes up there? Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Nice, nice content. Um, so, so is it is it easy for an normal easy guy like like me to connect all this stuff? I mean, you're talking about a whole bunch of of information, and I might be new to it and think to myself, oh, great. Uh, he has a lot of technical stuff. How do I go about it? Especially when you mention stuff that involves uh, development. Um, is, is it stuff that anyone can do it? Yes. So um, I think the, the easiest platform for someone like you, Misho, will be something called LaunchRock. LaunchRock.com. If someone you have got like a business you. idea and want to get a fast um, uh, um, customer feedback loop, you should be able to, to have a look at a platform like LaunchRock and it will allow you to, to um, explore the, the, this kind of things, SEO and so forth. All right. Awesome. So, yeah, uh, basically for those who just tune in, we're talking about uh, a bit of SEO and how you can uh, put your brand, your business uh, out there at the top. Uh, so when people search for particular things, they get to find you more or faster than someone else. I mean, another way of doing it, what I've seen now is uh, a lot of websites or companies, when you search them online, you don't just find about the name, you find the location, the address, mm, mm, and mm. all that information. So it's very easy, and everything gets all connected. Yeah. Um, yeah so, so, so let's check out some of the facts for today. Um, Misho? All right, so we're going to drop some of the facts. Uh, you can just chill with the guys there. All right, today's facts... Uh, it's so weird what this guy is doing. Uh, you, you, yeah. So today's today's fact is 50, 52 per hundred South Africans have used the internet uh, in the past twelve months. Um, South Africa is approximately in in line with the global median of internet users. That's four point forty nine point eighty four per hundred people. So basically, we we have a lot of South Africans using internet. Um, so if you are out there and trying to start a business or whatnot, remember what, one of the major things you need to do is connect people online, whether it's from townships, uh, go, go the villages, uh, urban areas, uh, people are going online and getting connected online. So get people, get more people online. Uh, minor planet. What's a minor planet? Minor planet. Uh, 23, Small planet. Mm, 23,182 CR. Uh, Siya Nguza. Siya Nguza. Uh, discovered July 23, uh, 23rd by the Lincoln Near Earth Asteroid Research Team. Is named after the South African scientist Siya 
at Guza. Um, I've met this guy. Um, yeah. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. Basically, he's, he's, he's studied a lot of this stuff and they eventually named it after him. That's pretty yes. awesome. So, so, so um, Siat Guza was a young scientist. This mm. is a young scientist from in South Africa. He started uh, becoming interested in astronomy in high school and um, was just building um rockets out, out of boxes out of um recycled materials and so forth and then en- he entered various competitions that landed him um recognition yeah um worldwide so he has been to the states has chilled with the head of states um trying to uh, uh, um, showcase his um ideas and um aspirations and uh, is push um, in, 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 in trying to drive the, the, the science um, space in South Africa, especially in astronomy, um, eventually made him got the recognition of having a planet named after him. But that's super awesome. Yeah, Imagine. man. Well, this would be weird. Uh, planet Diani, like, that was so weird. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, um, <laughs> it will probably have cool people next door. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, in 1979, Ellen McLeod Cormack, a Nobel Prize uh, in, in Physiology or Medicine for Pioneering Work in X-ray Computed uh, Tomography. Uh, so he received a Nobel Prize for that. Um, if you guys can pick up what we're doing today, a lot of the, the facts are in line with a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on uh, within, within, that are going on within uh, the space. Yes. Uh, well, it's all about technology. So as much as we, we think IT is about coding and whatnot, it's not just that. Uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff. So, guys, someone just walked in. Uh, I mean, they're so rude. They just walk into the room and disturb us. Uh, yes. Um, b- I b- mean, b- these people, gosh. Yes, yes. So, so, so uh, if you see, uh, most of today's facts are about South Africa. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's important to, to identify what scientists are in South Africa. Uh, uh, you know, I, I always get worried that modern science in South Africa is not getting that kind of recognition. Uh, um, you know, but you have got a guy like, like um, Alan Cormack, um, there's a street named after him at the Innovation Hub. Um, it's, it's a pioneering uh, you know, innovator in, in South Africa. That's pretty cool. But yeah. we have to think, um, what type of legacy in science and technology are South Africans leaving behind? You know, you know when, you, when you're on that, there was a tweet I actually came across uh, from um, Tiro. He's, he's one of the kids that came to our, our VAC work. And one of his comments is saying, uh, you know, there is very few South Africans out there that he knows about that are doing great stuff. Yes. Uh, and in this case, there's very few black South Africans that he know of that are doing some really cool stuff in the tech space, uh, in the engineering, science and entrepreneurship world. So we basically have to push these people out. I mean, whenever we come across, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. We, we, we mention who's doing what, uh, what, what are they up to? Yes. So, so, so um, we have restructured the tech facts on the show to, to make it be more about South Africa, to showcase that these are the legends within uh, the South African technology innovation and science ecosystem and we, we do have some pretty cool guys do, doing t- some very innovative stuff out there you know uh, but of course there, there are South Africans that I know like yourself Michel you know I'm, I'm, I'm f- from the rural uh, uh, um, communities uh, um, in Limpopo I, I don't know much about this city life and when I arrived um, I only knew what I was taught in grade four that um, if you get if you want to cross a street or on a robot, you must first look right and left and right again and then cross the road. But what you taught me, Misho, this everybody, please take note of this. Wow, really? Yes. <laughs> the be- Misho said the best way to cross the, the road is to make sure that you have a hot chick with with you. <laughs> So these days when I'm, I'm on a robot, I, I just look uh, right, oh, no hot chick there, <laughs> left, no hot chick there, right again, oh, no hot chick there. Then, okay, let me just be on my phone. I'm going to be on my phone right now. <laughs> uh, um, and then I sent Misho an email. Yo, Misho, um, did, did, did you get my, my, my email? <laughs> like, what email, T? I just sent you now. I'm, I'm on the streets, man. Just check my email, man. Yeah. Sky. No, it's 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 it's, it's sky. The the thing is, when you when you, you what are the likelihood? Eh? They see you T out of all places on the middle <laughs> of the road crossing. They're likely to just knock you off. Now imagine if Ayanda is walking on the road. Hmm? 
Like Ayanda, oh my goodness! You, see, you just African, walk. the sensational, you the goodness, the creative. Can I please have your autograph? You and can you sign my code? Then we Th- cross That's what I will say. We cross smoothly. You understand? So if this T R, we all did. You understand? That's the problem. We all did. Yeah, but um, th- those are some of the things. But, but if let us say, gentlemen, if you know of some cool South African scientists that are doing some incredible work out there. Mm. Um, something more creative than um, what Misho told me. Uh, um, Guys, that's uh, genius, eh? Hey? Uh, yeah, uh, your, your name should, should, should be framed uh, and, and your, your, your face should, should be put up on the walls. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, if, if you know of, of some cool scientists doing some incredible work out there, let us know. Connect at geekculture.com um, Connect with us, obviously, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, we are there. We are LinkedIn as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at Brand Life Radio on Twitter. Do connect with us. Yeah, let connect, us know. Connect, connect with us and let us know what you're doing. I mean, right now we're live. Uh, we, we, well, we sort of live. We yeah, are live. We, we are live in one of the boxes, the 27 boxes. A radio station in a box. Yeah, man. Anyway, we're going to take a quick ad break and we'll what, be oh, back what? after this. Uh, just giving you guys a quick snippet of our guest. Uh, yeah, we, we're ready for a break. We can go for a break. Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastdownmedia.co.za. Are you an innovator and solution provider? The Innovation Hub is looking for entrepreneurs in the ICT, advanced manufacturing, bioeconomy, and the green economy sectors. If you have an innovative prototype or startup business which addresses an existing market need and you're predominantly based in Gauteng, we invite you to apply for one of our incubation programs. For more information, visit theinnovationhub.com or call 012-844-0000. The Innovation Hub is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Gauteng Group. Growth and Development Agency. Oh, back now. Oh, connected. Yes, we, we, we connected. So we just had a little very interesting moment. He was talking to you guys, but really not talking to you guys because uh, we had an advert. He was so eager to talk to you guys. But yeah, we're back live. Tia, yes. You can say hi. Hi, everybody. So right now we're going to, to, to do one of my favorite things on the show. Um, we get to check out the small dogs out there. Woof, woof. <laughs> not literally, guys. Yeah, and, and then we'll get them to connect with the big dogs, of course. Hoof, hoof, hoof. So this is the part of the show where we get to check out what are young um, developers working on out there, what are they doing behind the garage and all that. So um, this section is called the weekly checkout, and we check out some of the projects that um, young developers are working on. Yeah, so you guys can actually uh, connect with us on this. If you're working on something cool, uh, products, app, websites, uh, hardware stuff, or whatever it is that you're doing. I mean, even designers, we, we want to hear what you guys are doing. Uh, connect with us. And yes. uh, we'll put it out here and show it to the rest of the world and check. We let people check out what you guys are doing. Yes, and this week we're checking out a platform called NM Nexus, my Sharpa Nexus. So my Sharpa Nexus is um, an, inf- an information communication and technology Information and communication technology company specializing in website development, website design, uh, taking your graphics design, of course, um, internet making. The business was, of course, established in 2016 by one Mr. Nwako Mashapa and Mr. Tebuho Masetla. You can check out the website www.mnexus. Nexus as in like that phone. Yeah, the, the Google one. Yes. .co.za. So, so um, go, go check it out. Let's support. Let, let's help each other grow, you know. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning of the show, we spoke of the the small dogs. Oof, oof, oof. And then also spoke of, of I, the... Are you, you going to make us do this the whole show? Yes. And, and then we we'll also talk of the big dogs. Woof, woof, woof. Remember, the big dogs, um, they, they have courage. They, they, they take their code and put it on GitHub and make sure that everybody can uh, um, contribute. Remember, in, you know, it pained me that in 2015, um, only about 0.52% of, um, of, of GitHub users in Africa could actually openly share their code on GitHub. Uh, you know, I think w- w- what we have become accustomed to the most is we are consumers. Yeah, uh, something I heard today uh, on, 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 on one of the other radio stations. 
uh, that uh, someone was just giving a message out that we need to be more creators yes. uh, and makers than consumers. I mean, South Africa, everything, we, 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 it's like we're consuming everything. Yes. Uh, so we need a lot of local content, uh, which is created here. Um, and so that we consume a lot of local stuff. Yes, you, you remember, I always t- um, speak of the fact that um, one day we are going to be ancestors. And being ancestors of, of the future to our great great grandchildren will be judged on how digital we were. You know, um, they could say that um, uh, 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 Njabulo, Njabulo was a great mobile app developer. The kids will, 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 will brag that my great great grandfather was um, a great app developer. And then some of the kids will, will be like, um, okay, okay, what are the apps? Um, yeah, the, the app was on Android. So did your great 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 father made make Android? No, it was made in the U.S. You know, so so, so we need to, to be able to um think and 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 um talk about this. Let, let's create more platforms. Let's engage. Uh, let's get people developing um technologies that are coming out of Africa because our history will be judged on digi- how digital we were, um how creative we were, how innovative we were. And shout out to Deben for um being named one of the the most innovative city in South Africa. Yeah, they're, they're actually even having a conference today, uh, Digitize uh, Africa. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of things besides the, <laughs> the partying and, and the other stuff. There's a lot of good stuff happening. Let's there. take it out to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, that, that's Deben. We hang out with nowadays. Uh, uh, the um, girl next door. Yes. Mm, props to her. Uh, yeah, she man. did stuff that we couldn't do in years. Uh, props to her, girl next door. You're awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so so th- 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 that's the thing. L- l- let's um, step out of the comfort zone and make sure that w- we, we are getting creative. Let- let's be um, more than consumers. Yeah. You know? Let's be producers. Or at least become better consumers as well. Um, w- w- n- 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 to-, to make sure that w- we see more technologies coming out of Africa. And Africa must be able to tell the world who's boss now. Sure. Who's boss? As we gear up for the fourth industrial revolution, what is Africa doing? I, my boy, Africa. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to take another ad break. Um, we'll play you a jam as well. We hope that you have got a cup of coffee ready. Um, you're coding, you're doing all sorts of things. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we're back now. We're live on Instagram. Uh, you can just join us there. Uh, and then let's connect also on Twitter as well using the hashtag Geeks Connect. Yes. Harnessing the power of talk radio. Brandlive.co.za. Brandlive.co.za. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are still tuned in to Geeks Connect Show with myself, Tiari Ngonyama, and Michonne Gobeni. We've got a great guest in studio right now. Um, she's a graphics designer. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, um, you'll be watching her live, of course. Um, Ayanda Gia. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, it's been long. It's been long, eh? Yeah, and you've become you've come cooler and and like he's got the swag. What's going on? Eh? Hey, look at the girl next door. I don't know That's what she's all. doing, but <laughs> like, here's the thing. You've always been cool. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. Sort of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's always been cool, but I feel like you know, like it's cool on steroids. I don't know what happened to T. T what happened? All right, this is not about me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am the Gia in studio. Um, Ayanda, tell us about yeah. yourself, eh? Well, I really find it hard to answer the question um, because I get it all the time, and I really don't know how to explain to people what kind of person I am. I think um, it all it all gets to when you get to know me, rather. Um, you get to know the kind of person I am. But I can tell you this. I love laughing. So True. <laughs> so there it has you go. So, <laughs> so whatever kind of environment I'm in, I it has to be joyful. Like everyone around me. I like I like it when everyone around me is, you know, easy and um easy going so we all can just click, you know, and just have a good time. So that's the kind well, that's one thing I really like about me and one thing that everyone needs to know about me. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um you know, y- we have known you for, for a long time, right? That's true. As as a musician, yeah. I remember the, the first time. No, 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 no. T, that's not how <laughs> we knew her. Okay. Like you're not telling the story properly. We knew her 
as an as a designer right. uh, based at MLab, right? Right. Yeah. And then this other day, something is playing in the background. Yo, yo, yo! I was like, yo, this is really cool. This is really cool. <laughs> Who's this international artist? And then like, I had the G. I'm like, no way. Wait, 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 wait. Ayana, Ayana. And that's where it really th- clicked that you're actually doing this music thing, hey? Yeah, yeah. And you, 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 you're killing it. Thank you. Thank you so mm, much. Mm, well, mm. actually, I've been doing the music thing even when I worked with you guys at MLab. Yeah. Um, so it was something I was doing on the side. Um, but I didn't really tell anyone about it, especially in my workplace, because, um, I mean, it's in my workplace. So I felt that, you know, what we had to, what, what connected us at work was what it was the design side of me so that's why i kept it you know as professional as, prof- as 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 possible but obviously such things do follow you and you can't really you know avoid them like Misha's very nosy i mean that's how he knew oh, about yes. me oh, yes. <laughs> and then he started researching about the songs and everything i've been so, doing so, so. If it's not you take a uh, taking me it's tea <laughs> but it's fine right. you guys will have your day <laughs> I, and I, I remember yeah. the first time you, you, you trended on twitter Oh yeah, <laughs> that was an amazing day. Did you guys have anything to do with that? What? <laughs> I just want to know. So, so she traded on Twitter, and immediately I, I said to myself, "Let me take photos with her before she becomes this big star." I, I, I've got I have photos on, uh, on my yes, iPad. So you have with, proof with I, her. I, I've got proof. a folder and I've got a video. <laughs> yes, oh but, but 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 quickly tell us what drives yeah. you as um, the person that you are. Um. My passion really does. Um, waking up every morning knowing mm, that mm, I get mm. the opportunity to do what I want to do and, and I'm gifted with that. You know, so that's one thing that really drives me. I don't think it can ever get old. Um, it's, 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 a new, it's like a renewed feeling every single day when I wake up knowing that I'm going to wake up today and I'm going to sing. And only just sing, but sing because actually I sing for a living. So it's like, yay, I get to do what I love and, and, and to actually you know, explore my passion for a living you know so, and I mean not everyone gets to do that you know so that for me is a blessing yeah awesome you know as, as programmers um, we have this saying that one cannot simply code without music of course you I heard about that H- how true is that I don't I don't know hey how true is that because I, I don't know how to code so yeah I, I, um, but you know obviously as a musician you listen to music a lot right uh, um, but how right. do you think how does music feel and how does it make your life be uh, um it is uh, when you're doing your work for me um music is it, it keeps my mind at ease okay. um, i don't th- i think music to me and probably a lot of people who are musicians or people who love music it's like the air we breathe the way we breathe the way we live that's mm. how I, I can't live without music like this morning i couldn't wake up and do my things i can't function without music playing in the background or me singing or something like it has to be musical somewhere somehow in order for me to actually function so um that yeah that's what I, that's exactly what i could probably say about it so i can't function without music to me that's how important it is yeah so, so yeah and then how how, do, how does how do you then go about connecting the the music with your other side of your creativity your, um, your design that do you does do they influence each other do they inspire of course each they other do. of course they do um i don't think in in as a creative you know like you can actually do anything um without music playing in the background when we're talking about art like a, being a creative artist yeah you know um i mean with graphics it's it's all about image and color and you know um so for me personally and from my experience music is a great influence in come in in designs um in in the way i put things together i feel like with music you are inspired this might pr- probably sound really crazy but for me it works so with the music i listen to mm. it influences the kind of colors or the kind of fonts and the kind of you know design i have to put together yeah. you know concerning whatever it is that i need to design so for me it really does impact um whatever design i'm going to be working on you know depending on the kind of music i'm listening to so if and but but you obviously you got to be very ch- you got to be picky you know like i'm very picky with the kind of music i listen to when i'm working um specifically i like listening to jazz when i'm working um, cuz it's very sp- really? yeah you, you listen to jazz <laughs> as I listen, well i listen to jazz oh when i'm working goodness. it's very abstract so that gives me the room and 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 the power to actually design what it is i need to design so jazz is always like of course, the greatest. Of course. It's like my first priority. It's like number one. Yes, when I, when yes, I have to design, yes. I'm like, yes. Oh, jazz, yes. Let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so so this guy usually tortures me with jazz is it uh, all the time and and so, well if it's not jazz it's celine dion but he oh touches me word. with really? it. You're yeah. a Celine Told fan. Told you I'm coming for you. Told You're you a Celine fan, you. half bad. Look at him blush. Hey, look. <laughs> I can see <laughs> Anyway, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is the month of jazz. This is the month of jazz, and we are unapologetic about it. That's right. Uh, you, you, do, you perform all the time, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, um, so I take it the mic is your favorite technology. But what <laughs> would you say are, are two of your other favorite technologies? Oh, my word. My phone. Um, mm. my computer, I think those are the main, you know, um, like even wh- wherever I go, like m- if I'm not close to my PC, obviously my phone is like the one thing that I need for everything. I mean, I'm always on the go, like I'm always on the road. I'm always communicating with people. I need to send things through. Sometimes like, Im- uh, like, um, interviews, people will be like, um, when you come through, please send us your songs, whatever. So obviously my cell phone would be the one technology I use the most, um, in terms of getting my stuff around. Mm, so mm, yeah. Mm. My All phone. right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of your phone, right. um, what are some of the apps that you use al- almost every day to make your life better? Um, in terms of my music, yes. Um, well, okay, because now I, I I use an iPhone, so obviously <coughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michelle. Yeah. M- Michelle, so Michelle, you're out of order now. <laughs> So I use I use mostly uh, um you know any musical app that they give I mean iTunes, um, obviously that one is um, like you know when it comes to music you know hey iTunes you know number one so, so I for use some that. of us we don't um, have I'm uh, music, such devices so, so I mean obviously Android has got you know um <laughs> look at his face change when I say Android <laughs> he's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, um, so, so, so yeah. I'm just is, is trying to fit the, the, the headset into Yeah, I mean, but besides that, before I even went on to iPhone, I used the Sony um, Z3 Xperia. And before that, I did um, I used the, the Z Xperia. Android. You know, so Android, yeah. So And Sony seemed to, seemed to be very good when, because um, I was more of a musical person, so I listened to music all the time. So Sony was really good to me when it came to that. I won't even lie. So, yeah. It's Shout out to so Android. Good to you. It's been very good to me. Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to repeat that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, um, uh, one of my favorite musicians uh, yeah. besides you. Uh, uh, um, oh, okay. Uh, uh, um, um, BB King. BB King is, is like. One oh, wow. Of the you listen to BB? Yeah. It's How fun. Yeah. This one's got a great soul. I like this one. Yeah. So, so, so BB King is one of the greatest legends. Right. And uh, right. he has this, this, this guitar called uh, Lucille. Lucille. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, it always talks about Lucille as um, um, the, the 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 guitar that made him. It's, it's the yeah. tool that made him. Yeah. And um, his song Thriller. Thriller is yes. gone. Right. That's the ultimate. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and um, it says that Thriller has been so good to me, and it's been good to me. You know, it gets to him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember when he was performing in the seventies. Um. The thrill is gone. Uh, um, or they call me Stormy Monday. Those, those were some of the greatest hits. But uh, Ayanda, how would you sum up your musical career? Uh, wow, I, I don't so think. Far. Okay, so far. Um, wow, it's been. I'm gonna say bittersweet. Bittersweet. Yes, reason being because um, there are a lot of challenges that you face as mm-hmm. well, you know, mm-hmm. um, and obviously, when you overcome them. Even when you're going through them, you know, the sweetness in all of the lessons that I've learned. So for me, it's been a bittersweet mm, um, mm, mm. journey so far, you know, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I think um, I really like it the way it, it, it like it happened thus far. Um, so it's only I mean, I can only anticipate the future and see, you know, what's more to come. Mm. So yeah. so um, a little bit switch from the music to the creative side. right? OK. What exactly do you do on the creative side? I'm a graphic designer. You're a graphic designer. Yeah, so basically um, anything design, anything 2D, like your posters. And the funny thing is when I started graphic design, I didn't know that that would actually be an influence to my music as well Mm -hmm. or to my brand, you know. How is it influencing your brand? um, I mean, now that I know what kind of look I want, Mm. um, what kind of, like how do I want, how do I want people to perceive me? Like when they see me, this is what, like, or when they see something um, related to me, you know, they would know, okay, when we see this, this is all about Ayanda, mm. you know. So, like, it's, it, let's call it a signature for the, yeah, 
Like yeah. I really now now I know what my signature is, you know. So it has influenced um, my me as a brand so much because now I know what it is I need and what it is I want to to um, to look or or how I want to look, you know, it, when it comes to my brand. So um, design definitely helped me with that because at first, you know, with that, I think, and I've seen this with a lot of artists, they struggle to actually give. Um, an idea or give give another person like okay this is what i want you know when it comes to my brand you know so with me and design and all the research i've done you know while i was going through with school i mean we had to touch on to everything about design so basically whether you are a musician or whether you just naturally just a graphic designer working at a company you know there's certain rules that ha- that that you have to be aware of when it comes to that specifically so does so so the same thing when it comes to me and my you know being a musician mm-hmm. what are the rules you know what do i have to look out for you know what is it that i can't do what is it that i can do you yeah. know so those kind of things really kind of helped me a lot when it came to my stuff you All know right. as a brand mm. okay well now going to take a quick ad break on be back with Miss Ayanda Gia. Yay! You're listening to brandlive.co.za, an industry first in the world of internet radio. Not only are we an internet radio station, we're an internet radio platform for your brand. So why not expose your brand to potentially thousands of listeners and improve your customer relationships and brand equity with podcasts and live broadcasts? Be sure to check brandlive.co.za for more information brandlive.co.za harnessing the power of internet radio welcome back ladies and gentlemen we're still tuned in to Geeks Connect with myself Tiani Gonyama um, and Misho here with Ayanda with Ayanda Gia hey, and, hey. and we're talking about her musical career and as um, as to how her other life as a graphics designer influenced her, her career so, so this is one person who actually d- designs her own posters yeah. and uh, um, do all, all sorts of things to, to make sure that a personal brand is out there and, and, and make it uh, be as funky and awesome as it is. Yeah. Ayanda Gia. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, do you have perhaps any books that, that you would like to um, share that motivates you in life? Um, I do read, but most of them are more um, spiritual things, like um, spiritual books. Um, I'm very religious, so there's a lot of... Um, inspirational books uh, there's a book that I'm, I'm reading now it's called um um six months to get in, what six months to better prayer so okay. basically what this this book is about is um how you reconnect you know in, in in your relationship with with god and you know how you get to really listen to his voice and stuff like that so that's basically what i'm currently reading um right now because i tend to see that in the industry the industry that i'm in you know you kind of you do tend to lose yourself um, so mm. for me to get a level ground, that's basically what I like doing. I like to, you know, sober up, and this is my kind of way of sobering up. All right. And yeah. w- where do people get your music? Um. Okay. So my music has not been out in the past three years, and okay. a reason being because there were a lot of things that I needed to um, clarify. I mean, people were still confused because I was. Um, by the time when we met, I was under a label. Um, <coughs> com, who I'm not, I'm no longer with. So, okay. um, when once that was actually cleared, a lot of people still didn't know that I was I was gone because it was really discreet at the time, and we never really got to talk about it, even with my um, interviews. Like, so what are you doing now? And you know, so um, so I left. When I left, um, nothing was actually released at the time. So now, um, I'm actually currently working on my new EP. It's a reintroduction to the album. The album comes out in August, okay. and um, the EP comes out now, um, next month, in May. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. Um, so I actually, um, so I'm independent now. So that's basically what I'm doing. I've been currently working my butt off, <laughs> you know, and putting the <coughs> stuff together. I won't Be even lie. <laughs> I know something's coming. <laughs> I know this guy so well. <laughs> yeah, but um, that's basically what I'm currently busy with. Yeah. All right. Um. <sighs> so uh, I'm interested in, uh, <laughs> once again, right? So yes. for, for the designers out there, I mean, we see a lot of people doing stuff and sometimes it's not great. Sometimes, What can you tell them? I mean, what can you advise them, the designers out you know, there? You know what the trick is? Mm. The trick is simplicity. And, Wait, and it's really I, I, hard. I need to, I need, to, I need to get that for these people to, to, to hear. That's you see, it's not me. It's her who's saying this. Okay, 
the trick is simplicity. Um, one thing that I learned when I was at school, um, we used to go to a website called Behance.com. Mm. I don't know. Most designers will probably know this website. Mm. Um, if you actually look into how, you know, a lot of the students and a lot of the graphic designers are like sharing their stuff on there, their mm. portfolios. The trick is simplicity. Mm. And I noticed that even with me in school, I struggled with simplicity because mm. it's such a thin line with never too much mm. and never too little. So mm. it's a between the two, you know. So once you get that, I promise you, everything is just... It's on point, it's on point yeah. you know, and colors also matter. You know, you can't just decide um, you're going to use a lime green and you're going to use like a pink or a magenta, you know, together. Yeah. There has to be a certain way as to how you use your colors too. Mm. You know, also what audience you're trying to, to attract into whatever it is that you design. Because, I mean, in every design, in everything that you do, there's a certain, the, not everyone is going to like it. So mm. you have to cater for the, 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 the target market that you have. Mm. You know, that's also important. So you can't just yeah. design, you know. So for me, simplicity is always key. Nice. Yeah. All right. So, so now we're we going to, to jump on to the gig guide. Um, of course, we're still tuning tuning in with um, Ayanda. We'll play one of her songs in a little while. But um, the gig guide for, for this week, Misho, where are you turning up, brah? All right, so uh, right after this, I'm heading out to the SME, SME, SMME uh, Roadshow. Uh, what's what's happening is there's a roadshow that's going on at uh, Joburg, Cape Town, and uh, Durban. I forgot the other place. Uh, okay. and I'm doing the Cape Town one, so I'll be speaking uh, around about two. Uh, talking about a few things geek culture wise and IT wise. So that's what I'm doing now. Uh, over the weekend, there's a couple of things also happening. Uh, you, you're doing the, the, the hack? Yes. Um, so, so this weekend, we're doing the, the Security Summit Hackathon Ideathon. Um, where a, a, a hundred developers will be coming through uh, um, to, to Pretoria 012 Central. Do join us there next to State. Theater, there will be free Wi Fi. Yeah. So, um, the, the idea there is to get people to come up with ideas at the idea thing. Yeah, so you guys, uh, if you those who've registered, uh, do go to that place, a very cool spot. Uh, I'll be in in Brahm this coming weekend, uh, doing the Timolohong uh, hackathon, it's a navigation hackathon. So, basically, they'll be helping coming up with ideas on how to help students within vets navigate those that are, um, you know, uh, disabled. Uh, that they'll be able to come up with solutions to help them out so they're not uh, excluded from all of it. Yeah. Um, a, a, and of course, the, 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 there are other events that are happening in the tech space. If, if, if you know of an event that is happening and you think that um, the, the, the cool kids, you know, like Mission Gobeni should come and, and bless the event, do let us know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, do, do let us know. Uh, uh, um, connect at geekculture.com. Of course, you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, um, everywhere, even Google+. Plus. Yeah, do, do connect with us and, and, and make sure that we know about it. We do bless the events. And, um, yeah, and now we're coming back to Miss Ayanda Gia. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, mm. Any uh, stuff you are up to for for, for the next um, coming days? I see that you 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 have got something. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, right now, uh, what's what I'm currently busy with? Um, I also I also sing with with Dr. Dumi. So we've been traveling oh. a lot with Dr. Dumi. Um, oh. I know weekends normally I'm very busy because of him. Um, besides that, um, my stuff as well. I mean, I have a house track that's out. Yes. With um, Sir LSG. <laughs> I, 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 I love the vocals you put on a house track. Like, it's Thank insane. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm actually really excited about this year. I mean, I've been working with Sir LSG and working with him opened another door for me for working with the Ralph Gum. So I'll be working with Ralph Gum. We will be doing an exclusive um, um We'll be doing exclusive house together, so nice. I w so I'm very excited about that. So is he? I actually, I, when I met him, he's such a humble man, and I, I really, I really, really like, um, you know, his persona. He's really warm and very, you know, down to earth. Like you, he'd probably walk past you, and we wouldn't even know it's Ralph Gum. Like that's the kind of impression I got with him, yeah. you know. So I'm just like, really this is really you? And he's like, yeah, what oh. were you expecting? You know what I mean? Because mm. he, he's so calm. Like, he's really calm. So I'll be working with Ralph Gum this year. Um, and hopefully we'll be traveling a lot because already we have been starting um, with gigs and gigging with them and stuff. So I've been I've been enjoying doing house, actually. I didn't even know I'd enjoy it this much. Yes. House is so cool. Nah, big house. House is amazing. <laughs> oh, house is amazing. So 
um, for them to actually put me in uh, um, on the team, you know, it was actually a humbling experience. So there'll be a lot of house music that I'll be doing this year. There'll be a lot of um, R&B, obviously, um, from my side. Um, I'm currently working and actually putting, um, you know, concept like my, my concept for... Um, my my new singles um, music video, so I'm kind of putting concepts together. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. So that's currently what's happening with me. So there's a lot. All right. Uh, w- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for, for let people hear your voice quickly. Okay. Uh, just drop something uh, before we. What 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 can I sing? Let's let's sing the old song. Okay. Go go go. Get your happy young. It's your time. Feel your favorite song. Oh. You're not alone. Get your groovy young. Put on your shoes and we'll be dancing all night long. It's on, you got it going on. Don't be afraid and let your pride be known. <laughs> Look at go, him go, dance. Go, girl. Get your happy on. Hey, it's, it's your time. time. Sing your favorite. <laughs> You're not alone. Get your groovy on. Put on your shoes and we'll be dancing all night long. It's on. You got it going on. Don't be afraid and let your pride be known. Ayanda mm, 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 mm. ladies and gentlemen. Yay. I remember when that song came out. Tell um, me. <laughs> there was someone playing it. Um, all day in the office. We, we won't mention her name, but Ruth, oh, he Ruth used to we drive me insane. <laughs> yes, yes, that song I was playing all day long. Yeah. Um, like you know, the thing is, I don't know for some reason when I when I did the EP, honestly, it was more of an experiment okay. um, than anything. It was more about how people would actually. Um, respond to R&B because in South Africa R&B was not really that big anymore you know ever since um, TK passed away so I mean TK was known as one of the greatest R&B singers in the country so when she passed on it was like okay there goes R&B too boom you know and I mean a lot of people did attempt to bring it back but you know um it would it would come out, but then you know it only it would probably fizzle you know after a while. Then it's like oh everyone's over R and B again, you know. Um, and then there was like Afro pop, you know, and then there was all kinds of genres. But then no one really got back to R and B, you know. So I decided okay. Well, since while I grew up listening to a lot of that, mm. you know, I mean, gre- most of my influences come from that, you know. So I decided, let's experiment. Let's see. Mm. Let's let's try this this R and B thing out. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Then it's fine. At least I tried. You yes, know? ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> go on and try. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you um, for having me. <laughs> we, we we are running out of time. Okay. Um, we, we thank you so much for coming through, and we'll be on the lookout. We'll be watching. We'll be saying, go go girl. You know thank what I'm you. saying. Yeah. yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, um, keep it real, keep it cool. Um, it, we'll join you guys next week. Um, do, do look out on the events, um, check out what uh, Mission Goven is up to. He's a super cool guy. Um, so, so Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, He's check out cool. all the content He's and cool. uh, stay cool. Um, code on, soldier on, and um, be you, do you. <laughs> and uh, um, be a person of value and yes. give value to other people. And this is the guy who said we we wrapping up and it's still continuing. <laughs> we out. Seven <laughs> boxes in the heart the of Melville. Okay. This is brandlive.co.za. <laughs> Yes, yes, guess who got brands talking? Brandlive.co.za.